So it sounds crazy, this idea of 10 times in your income. The idea of getting what you have now, looking at your income that you're getting, whether it's from sales or from, from you know, a store that you, you own and you, you got products that you sell or services or you have a job, whatever it is, if you want to get to that place where you're generating 10 times your current income, there's two things you have to have. One is volume of sales and the other is leverage in your selling. And I'll show you exactly what that means, but let me give you the formula first so you get a better idea of how this applied in my life, and then maybe you'll have an easier time applying it in yours. Uh, at the Gifts Formula seminar that I'm launching on March 20th, by the way, you're all invited. If you wanna, if you wanna check it out, giftsformula.com, I'll be taking everyone in the room exactly through how this formula works. And I'll even take questions, and by the time you leave the seminar, you'll know exactly how to apply this in your life. But I want to give you a sneak peek at it now, so you can start using it. I mean, why wait? As soon as I started using it, the results that I was getting were staggering. So let me walk you through it. This is the 10 times income formula, and this is how it works. Solution, so you got a problem and you're going to solve it, times severity, how badly you need to solve it and how badly other people have the pain that they need you to eliminate, that they need you to solve, so severity of that, times belief factor percentage, and belief factor is how passionate are you and, and knowing are you that what you have to sell to someone else is of value to them and is meaningful to them. You have to feel it and resonate with that energy. It's the law of reciprocation where there's this thing called sympathetic resonance. And that means that if you have a message that's extremely valuable to you and to other people, it's like a tuning fork. If you're tuned at C with this passion and your audience is also tuned at C with their passion, if those were two tuning forks, okay, and this one's not vibrating, and this one is vibrating, once you get close enough, once you get in alignment with this, uh, you get, get closer, you get in their world somehow, you're not touching, but you're close, this tuning fork will start to vibrate. Sympathetic resonance. You don't have to go up to people and, and persuade them to work with you. You're just vibrating with and, and being and demonstrating the energy and the passion and the complete belief in the solution that you provide. And you're also living it. So if you're selling a product you wouldn't use, get out of the business. When you get to leverage, it just simply means how can you get a greater result with less effort or less work. And it doesn't mean that you're not working hard. It means that you're applying your focus on the most effective or most high leverage activities. So we can talk a little more about that in a second. So this is the formula. Solution times severity times belief factor times leverage equals your income. How would you apply that? So <clears throat> let's go one at a time. The first item is solution. You need to have a burning desire, an intense desire to provide the solution that you provide. Think of it as your DNA. It has to be in every cell and every fiber of your being. And I'll use an example from my life. So I used to uh, run only a marketing firm and that was after years of evolving from being an illustrator and being a graphic designer and then I built this marketing firm. I now own and run a marketing firm today as well but it's a completely different version of what I had before and I'll tell you why in a minute. But my solution that I was really really passionate about and I'm still passionate about today is helping other people heed their true calling and awaken their incredible power and gifts, their ability to create their ideal life and business and generate more income and more health and wealth and sales. I have a huge passion to help people do that and I'm able to do that by demonstrating how I've done that in my own life. So I've got a burning desire to share my solutions that have helped reduce and, and completely eliminate most of the suffering in my life in these areas. So I want to help other people find out how to get the results that I've gotten and to surpass me, to have an amazing life. Um, you have to have that and as soon as I did that, I had this marketing firm that was not the version, it evolved into a version of a business that wasn't fulfilling to me anymore and I didn't want to spend all of my time down in the trenches in my marketing company. I didn't have the right team around me. It got to the point where you know, I was working really, really hard. I had a lot of full-time employees but what my, my desire was to optimize my work experience, to get more leverage in my work experience. And the solution that I most wanted to provide for myself, I wanted to be a coach. And my solution was to coach myself out of this business I had created where I felt trapped and then to help other people free themselves from the I'm overweight, I'm overstressed, my business stinks, I don't like where I'm going in my life, trapped. 
help them free themselves from that and create this amazing life adventure. So I had this burning desire. Now, how was my severity at the time? You, you have to have a group of people, a massive number of people, who really want the solution that you provide. So ask yourself, do you see a lot of people, hundreds of people, thousands of people, millions of people who could benefit from the problems you solve? And, and think about it, if you were to kind of tailor the problems you solve down to the language of a 10-year-old, maybe even a six-year-old, and simply were to say, okay, in my case as a coach, I help people stop, look at areas in their life where they're frustrated, and put the focus and energy necessary on those areas so they can break through and have better results in that area of their life. That's the problem that I solve, and the severity, the number of people, the number of people and the size of the problem is pretty monumental. So the bigger you can get that severity, the higher you can get that number, the, the better income you're going to have. This all starts to work together, right? But you got to have a really good solution first. You got to be able to describe that solution really well. You see how this comes together? It's got to be really severe. You have to desperately want to solve the problem because you love it. It fills you up. You're excited. This is your adventure and other people need to really have a problem that that solves. So they can feel that you're the guy who can help them. All right? And the next is belief factor. Now, belief factor, I like to quantify that as what I call passionate knowing. Passionate knowing. So there's two kinds of knowing, right? There's knowing of and then there's knowing. So um, <clears throat> in the case of increasing your income, you have to look at the product or the service, the steps that you take people through, whatever it is, to give them a solution, give them a result, and you have to believe in it so much, with so much certainty, it's the same amount of certainty that if I said, could you go get a glass of water today, or will you have lunch today, or uh, could you get your hands on a dollar, it's that kind of certainty. You'd say, of course I can, of course I will. Right? Absolutely. I'm absolutely certain of it. Your belief has to be 100% valid and true and certain. And now the person who, the, 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 the higher the score of the person whose problem you're going to solve, their score has to be the highest it possibly could be. The higher the score, the higher your income. Do you see how that works? You've got to get to the place where you believe so much in what you're doing. You don't just know it. I should say you don't just know of it. Okay, where you read about it and you got this sales job where someone said this is what you do and you can enroll more business. You know, say, let me give you a better example of belief factor okay? and knowing and knowing of. If you know of how to make a prospects list, how to do follow-ups, how to schedule your rituals every day to write sales letters and thank you letters and just a note letters and how to make appointments and, and, and make an appointment to set an appointment and, and follow up and show up. If you've got all this experience and you, you've, you've, you now have a sales manager, for instance, where you're hired and maybe you're selling insurance or you're selling mortgages or you're selling financial advice and your, your sales manager says, you've got, you got to go out and now when you go through this process of writing letters and making appointments, and do, you're, you, the more you do that, the more consistently you do that, um, the more you put yourself out there and communicate with other people who can benefit from this, the more business you'll get. Now you know it because, you know of it because they told you. You know of it because you see others telling you that's what I'm doing too. But you only know it when you've actually experienced getting the result that you're selling and or that you're living. So if you're going out to, to write more business and you want to sell more, you have to get to the place where you do absolutely, relentlessly everything that you can do to go write more business. And whatever steps you take to get that result, Keep track of those steps, go get the result, do it again, rinse and repeat as desired. Once you've done that consistently to get that result, then you know it. You've eaten that process like a meal. You've sensed it, you've been in the middle of it, you've been on the drive to the appointment. When someone talks about it, you see the last time that you did it. You, you have this experience-based knowing and that's what the belief factor is. But when you've gone through a whole process and you experience that process, and you know it completely, you don't just know of it, you're able to convey that with certainty to other people, with so much confidence and certainty that you wouldn't, you wouldn't have them buy anything less 
than what they absolutely need because you know the results they can have. Have you ever bought insurance from someone who sells insurance but has never purchased their own insurance? Have you ever gotten financial advice from someone who doesn't responsibly manage their finances? You ever, you ever meet a financial planner who's horribly in debt and doesn't have any investments in place? You know, it, maybe they're leveraged to the teeth <laughs> to try to show off to you and how great they are. This is a pretty common problem. Your belief factor is going to go down. So the higher percentage, maybe you have 50% belief factor, maybe you've got 80%. Your job is to get up to 100%, 200%. You can get up to a thousand percent belief factor where your, your confidence and certainty and knowing of the value that you provide to someone else is so strong, you would bet everything on it every day, every moment. And when someone says, hey, I, you know, I don't know if I want to work with you, you can say, hey, that's great news because I'm going to work with other people. I have a line over here of people who, who really can benefit from the results I know I can get. So I'm going to go work with the people who really want those results. And at the time that you're committed to getting those results, you let me know and we can have another conversation. But in the meantime, you have so much belief in what you do. You're not worried about whether people are going to be attracted to it. They just are. And that's the way you live your life and that's the way you grow your business. Now let's look at leverage. Leverage says there's people, there's systems, and there's communication in your experience. So if your job is to sell more or to help grow your business, again, maybe you're in the financial services business or maybe you're you know, some aspect of banking and your job is to enroll more people in buying the products that you have to sell. Well, you have to look at who do you surround yourself in the people category who can give you information and give you experience and show you their model that's worked well for them so you can present the very best products and sell the most effectively that you ever could in the business that you're in. And say that, that uh, you now have the perfect model because you surround yourself, yourself with these people. You also have to have systems step-by-step step, step system. So in the mortgage industry, you may have a processor, someone who takes loan paperwork and can help you process more loans where you're out making more connections. Maybe you have other systems like Salesforce or HiRISE or some of these online selling systems where you don't have to spend as much time. You can leverage your time because you have a CRM system where you can put your new relationships into the system and you can keep track of how many sales you want to make. But you don't have to sit there and data enter it because you've got some other people who can support you. So you get the system for data entry, maybe you hire an assistant who can add your contacts and your business cards and the relationships that you build into that system. And now what happens is you're going to also have this factor called communication. If you have a great product, a great service, but you don't advertise it, you don't market it, you don't make appointments, you don't get in front of people, then, well, you don't have a whole lot of leverage. It's kind of like that beautiful car for sale sitting in the garage. You didn't put a tag on it, you didn't advertise it. No one's going to come buy your car. You might say, no one wants to buy my car. I built this beautiful car. How come no one's buying it? Well, you have to communicate that you have it. The quality of your communication, the quality of your systems, and the quality of your people give you your leverage. And the systems you use could be step-by-step -step processes, or they could be software, or they could be... <laughs> The vehicle that you drive is a system, your transportation system, but they all lend themselves to a, a, a factor in your formula. If you have excellent leverage on your time and you've got systems and people supporting you when you're selling, again, at the giftsformula.com event, this, the Gifts Formula seminar that I'm doing, I'll tell you how you can increase your leverage so people find what you're doing irresistible. You'll have a sense of calm, a sense of preparedness because all you're focused on is your most high value activities. And you've got people, systems, and communications to improve your ability to deliver. In my company, I've got a person who handles my programs. I have different companies where there's projects that come in. I have a project manager. I have design work that has to be done in my marketing group. I've got a creative director. There's excellent communication systems. We use Basecamp to make sure all our projects are managed really well. So I don't have to sit there every day and go through every line item in Basecamp hoping that my projects are getting done. I've got a project manager who makes sure that that's getting taken care of. I've got a lot more leverage and so I can take the time to share videos with you like this and I can take the time to build a seminar program and I've got a team of people, systems and communication to make sure you know what services and products I offer to you 
and you have communication from me that tells you here's how you can 10 times your income. Now by the way the final answer if you want to 10 times your income you increase your clarity of your solution. You increase the value of your solution. How do you do that? Well get clear about what the solution is. So in my case I help people specifically identify what they want and then I recognize what's their view of the world and what's keeping them from getting what they want. And I help them break through that, eliminate the excuses or reasons that are keeping them from getting what they want. So my solution's crystal clear. You want to lose weight? What's keeping you from losing weight? Let me find out what gifts you have, what, what superpowers and capabilities you have, what resources you have that you're not using. Let me help find out from you help reveal from you what's keeping you from using those resources and let's set about to create an action plan that you're excited about to get these results, to lose the weight, to increase the income. So I've got a clear solution. What's the severity? How many people do you know who could have more energy, who could lose more weight, who could make more sales, who could grow their business more effectively? There's plenty of people who need the solutions that I offer, but I go out there and I make it crystal clear. If, you, if you're overweight, and you have low energy, I want you to look you know, 10, 5, 10 years from now and look at your kids and look at the time you want to spend with them playing outside. How severe it is, is it if you're, if you're getting low energy and you feel unhealthy and your confidence is lower because you're of a weight that's not healthy and efficient for your body. The severity is extremely high in that category. And I could show you a group of people who I'm working with, one who just lost now, she's almost at 15 pounds lost, just over three and a half weeks. And I could show you another woman I've worked with who lost 24 pounds in a matter of six weeks. But she's completely healthier than she was when she started working with me. And I could show you my results having gone from 206 pounds to 164 pounds. So I've got this massive knowing, this belief factor, where I can convey that if you want to lose weight, I can show you how to do it. I could go through income, I could go through building and improving relationships, all of that. Leverage, I'm communicating it every which way. Using marketing, using videos, writing in my blog, talking about what I'm up to right now. And now I'm getting on the stage on March 20th at the Gifts Formula, at my seminar, and you can go there and I'll put these messages right in front of you so you can get the same kind of results in your life. So you want to 10 times your income? Get clear on your solution. Make it extremely severe for you. Make sure it's extremely severe. Make, you, make sure it's extremely severe for the audience who wants that solution in their life. If they don't have a huge problem, you're going to have a tough time selling the solution. And they have to make sure, you have to make sure also the belief factor is really high. Just increase that. Just increase it. Put your energy into increasing that. And then increase your leverage. You increase any of, the, any of these by two to three times you can massively increase your income. I went from having about $7,000 in the bank to generating almost $800,000 in income in nine months. And I did that just looking at this formula and executing it in my life. Was it scary? Yes. But once I started taking action and following these steps, it completely changed the trajectory of my business. I hope this was helpful, and I hope you take a second to check out giftsformula.com. You certainly deserve to give that gift to yourself. I'll talk to you soon.